predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways.
Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Close encounter. Cutting edge. You always find good use for things like that. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs travel. Just a few moves left, make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The sound of spark metal going... Not opening for you.
It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Quite a shock to the system. Let's try that again. Quite a shock to the system. Let's try that again. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. He presents himself as out of date. He knows. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great War. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A it's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the... It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. After the old village, had it not been for the Tree of Life, Asks 
if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. He understands. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow. You'll need a... You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Now that you've seen the He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die. Records tell of the ruinous devastation the Toxanol Corporation inflicted on the land. The apocalypse sparked a re-evolution. The sec His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. 
Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the world eaters. His friends Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically chat. Let's see. Must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have.